Hello, how's it going? I'm Anveen, a growth marketer here at Six and Flow, and in this video, I'll walk you through all things revenue operations. This crash course will give you a solid understanding of revenue operations, why you need it, and how to implement it to build a successful revenue driving machine. But before we continue, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get regular updates about our posts on RevOps, HubSpot, sales enablement, marketing trends, and much more. All right, let's kick things off with the basics. What exactly is RevOps? In practice, RevOps works to align sales, marketing, and customer success teams through the customer lifecycle wherein the goal of every department is to drive revenue. Through better collaboration and visibility, RevOps focuses on closing gaps in the customer lifecycle through improved operational efficiency. These gaps span across people, data, processes, and technology. The four pillars of RevOps. Are your people operating in silos or in collaboration? Does your business have streamlined processes that are documented and understood by everyone? Do you have access to effective and reliable data across the team? And do you have the right tech to effectively support your business objectives? Team alignment, collaboration, et cetera, et cetera, all that is fine. But why do you need RevOps? When you look at a business from a holistic perspective, you notice that most businesses operate in silos. Let me break it down for you, pun intended. Looking at a go-to market model, marketing and sales departments often operate within their own data sets, knowledge, and processes. Once a customer is in the post-sales stage of the customer lifecycle journey, customer service builds up its own unique experience with that customer that is separate from the other two teams. With RevOps at play, it's easier to recognize sales, marketing, and customer success teams as a single function instead of silos. When people across teams are aligned on data, processes, and technology, the business can provide a better customer journey as a result of a comprehensive and consolidated view of customer touch points, bringing us one step closer to increased revenue growth. To sum it up, Rev RevOps has five main benefits to offer your business. Move from time wasted comparing information to data driven decision making and better collaboration. From handoff tensions and blame games to complete visibility and accountability. From siloed reports to a single source of truth shared by everyone. From subjective forecasting to a more consistent and predictable pipeline. From isolated operations to working together to provide a better, a better customer experience, leading to higher win rates and faster sales cycles. Now, as we discussed earlier, your organization should have clear and accessible data that everyone can understand. By having accurate metrics and buy-in from employees in all departments, it's, it's possible to identify areas of improvements that can be made and establish goals that everyone can work towards. Your North Star metrics or KPIs are essential for measuring the success of your RevOps strategy. They provide a clear and focused way to track progress towards your company's goals and ensure everyone is aligned with the same vision. Let's take a look at these metrics. First up, ROI by channel. Understand which channels generate revenue in order to prioritize efforts. Second, revenue by salesperson. Move your sales team away from reliance on individuals and build a team of performers backed up by relevant and actionable data. Forecast pipeline. A RevOps strategy can improve long-term forecasting accuracy, ensuring positive profits and keeping your team accountable for hitting targets by maintaining a steady funnel. And last up, overall pipeline. Gain full visibility into your organization's pipeline and guide your sales team to prioritize their time and energy through data-driven coaching. On to the final section of this course. Let's talk implementation. How can you incorporate RevOps in your business to build a successful revenue driving machine? It is a million dollar question indeed. And to answer it in one line, it is a process that involves collaboration, technology, and a mindset shift. First, align teams. This involves communicating the RevOps strategy, adapting processes, and optimizing the existing tech stack. A synchronized team sets the foundation for success. Next step, Mapping the customer journey and identifying the ICP are crucial steps. Understanding target markets, customer pain points, and business goals guides product service customization. Third, process and data for key stages. Incorporating HubSpot stages, awareness, consideration, and decision ensures a structured approach, providing team members with timely data access for a streamlined sales cycle. Fourth, measuring and improving speed and conversion is an ongoing effort. Regularly evaluating processes, trimming the tech stack, and introducing efficient tools enhance overall efficiency. Fifth step, 
Choosing the right tools from reliable vendors like HubSpot is key. Tools should evolve with business maturity and make sure to assess existing tools for usefulness and replace if necessary. And last step, build feedback loops for rapid knowledge sharing and optimization. Encourage openness and transfer within your team. While you may not be able to address every suggestion immediately, early identification allows for timely optimization, fostering success in both short and the long term. And there we have it. Whether you're a seasoned professional or you're just starting in the business world, understanding RevOps can be a game changer for your organization. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and comment below if you have any questions related to RevOps. See you later.